Let's go to CTV's Michael LeGouture, who's standing by. He's our senior political correspondent there uh, in Nanaimo with the very latest. Mike, uh, there have been rumors swirling for years about Mark Carney. What do we know? Yeah, we're hearing that not only is he going to come to speak to caucus later on today, but he will also be introduced as a special advisor to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Now, the details around his exact role, not clear just yet. We are expecting an announcement a little later on today. This was first reported by Global News, now confirmed by CTV News, that this is now happening here. So you can imagine members of caucus as they arrive in Nanaimo or as they make their why their way to Nanaimo now going to have to sort of figure out what is going on here with that type of news and really wrap their heads around it. Now he has obviously been somebody who has been an advisor informally to the Prime Minister. He has been Canada's special envoy to the UN for climate and economics. He's also been uh, the head of uh, or the uh, the head of transition investing for Brookfield Asset Management. Um, and there have been a number of rumors that he has fielded over the last couple of months, whether or not he had his sights on Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's job as leader of the Liberal Party. He has rebuffed those in the past uh, and certainly uh, spoken about the possibility of getting into politics, has mentioned that that would be something that could be on his radar, but n never really sort of hinted at anything happening in the near future. So certainly that gives a different dynamic, Todd, to the meeting here in Nanaimo as members of caucus are, as I said, making their way here to the West Coast and understanding that there will now be Mark Carney, who brings with him uh, a significant um, uh, experience, obviously, the former Bank of Canada governor, former governor of the Bank of England as well. So we know that the Liberals' weakness has been seen uh, by many as their handling of the economy. Uh, and of course, Carney will add some gravitas to that for the prime minister. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, you know, when you when we say and I know we're just getting this breaking news, Mike, but, you know, you hear the word special advisor. Uh, so, you know, mm -hmm. he's not going to be running for office, at least not yet. But maybe this is kind of a way toward that. It's 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 kind of hard to know here what what this is actually going to mean and, and what that role will ultimately entail by him. Yeah, is this uh, people in the party warming others up to him actually coming in and taking on a more prominent role in the party? Unclear, but certainly uh, the fact that he will be doing this. Look, in the past, we've heard that Carney's been consulted. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has made no, uh, uh, made no secret of the fact that he has in the past talked to Mark Carney. Having him, as I said, our special UN envoy on climate and economics is something uh, that has been very clear. I've been to a, a you know, a COP26 summit with him. Uh, and uh, obviously it was in Edinburgh and seeing that Mark Carney was there front and center uh, being somebody who is speaking on behalf of Canada. So, uh, you know, something that it would be pretty you know, it wouldn't be far fetched, I guess I could say, to have uh, Mark Carney in the fold. Now, uh, the fact that he is in the fold, how close is he going to be to the prime minister and what the impact will uh, that will be as well? And what will he say uh, to caucus tomorrow when he meets with them? I think those are all things that we will be waiting to hear from. Yeah, well said. Mike Lukater, our senior political correspondent here at CTV News. He is in Nanaimo where the Liberals are hosting their caucus meeting ahead of the return to parliament next week. Thanks for this, Mike.